G'day everybody, today I'm going to be doing a video on modifying a little 5 horsepower. This is a Tahatsu, it's the same as the Mercury 2 stroke as well. I get quite a few people ask me, you know, especially with these smaller motors, is there something I can do to, you know, get more power or, um, you know, increase top end speed? And I think what people are wanting is like a massive improvement in horsepower. You gotta keep in mind there are 5 horsepower to start with. Um, you can get a bit more power out of them, but there's a fair bit in it. I'll just run through what's been done to this. Um, it's had the transfer ports done, the exhaust port opened up, um, it's got a high compression head, and the carburetor on it um, has been changed from a stock one, which has a 15 millimeter throat, um, and it's been machined out to 17 millimeters. The jets have been changed to suit that new throat size and the reed intake area has been um, ported as well. So yeah, so there's a fair bit in it. Um, we'll jump in and have a look at the ports now, and um, yeah, you can check out visually what, what's been changed. When you're porting these things, you need to make sure that the port roofs, um, the angles and all that sort of stuff stay the same, because it shoots the fuel air mix out on a certain angle, very important. You can lose power quite quickly. Um, so anyway, um, we'll look at you know what I've done to achieve a little bit more out of that. So we've got two blocks here. This one here is a standard block. This one here I have done some porting inside the uh, yeah transfer ports and exhaust ports. Have a quick look at that. So the exhaust port is the standard one, and here's one I've opened up. I've actually raised the roof on that a little bit. It will change the port timing a little bit and the transfer ports. These are the ports the air fuel mixture comes in through. You can see there the aluminium block doesn't even meet the cast iron bore there. Very small little port there. Um, and then here's the one, the ones I've opened up. Yeah, it's a lot, a lot bigger than the standard one there. Um, and then intake here, um, I've opened up this side of the um, intake a little bit. And the reed valve stops, I have bent the reed valve stops up a little bit, made sure that I didn't bend the stops up so much that they'd hit the crank as it spins. All right, we'll just quickly check the new ring gap. If they're too tight, you do need to file a little bit off those ends. Because as they get hot, they expand and you don't want them to lock up inside your ball. Perfect, awesome. to me, all seals in place. All right, I'm about to whack the head on this little motor. I've shaved this down and yeah, reshaped the little pot there um, slightly. Um, standard compression on these little motors is about 120 PSI. Um, I'm hoping to get between 135 to 165 PSI. Um, anywhere between that I'm happy with, but yeah, if I can get around 150 PSI, um, that's what I'm after. So I'll whack this head on and see how I went. All right, well, this is the moment of truth. I'm gonna whack a compression gauge on this and see how I've gone with this head work. Hopefully it doesn't go over, you know, 160, 165 PSI. Um, I really don't want it over really 155, but um, see how I go. Like I said, my compression gauge shows a really healthy one of these motors, about 120. 20 psi, so um, over 130 psi, I'll be happy. All right, here goes. I've put a carburetor on this just for the compression test, and that's wedged open at full throttle. Oh, 
Awesome. I'll be probably just, just over 140 to start with. I do have a slight leak in this gauge, but very good. So we've added just over 20 PSI in the compression, which will make a big difference. Should. <laughs> so we've got the power head on the leg here. Just got to fit the tank and the carburetor, and then we'll uh, start it up. All right, she's back together. Looks pretty ugly, but I'm gonna give it a run in. It's a standard, the standard carburetor at the moment. Um, I do have one which has a bigger throat and stuff that I'll put on and play with once this is run in. So anyway, I'll get this thing started and... 